we definitely caught some big, like, you know, big tunas. Coopers, amber jacks, big tunas. Amber jacks, Elmoco jacks. Some nice fish. I don't know, I feel like this fish is kind of easy. I'm a little nervous. No. No? Is this is a sand tile. Like... It's a feisty sand tile yeah. then. I can't believe we're on our sixth trip here in Pauly Ridge. We're not officially there yet. We're on the way. You guys can see the boat is moving. We're on the Yankee Caps. For those of you guys that haven't followed along, the Yankee Caps is a head boat that fishes 100 miles into the Gulf of Mexico off of Key West, Florida to a reef system called Pulley Ridge. So if you guys like this video, we'll link below other Pulley Ridge content that we have. My name is Emily, a man's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. grounds at around 2 or 3 a.m. So we have dinner waiting for us. We're gonna eat some dinner. We're gonna go to bed probably in like 30 minutes. Try to get as much sleep as possible. We'll wake up at 2 and the boat is on the fishing grounds and we will start fishing from 2 a.m. through sunrise. That sunrise bite I'm really looking forward to. I'm hoping to get some tunas, some mutton snappers. Either way it's been quite This is the ultimate bottom fishing trip. Yeah it's like the ultimate bottom fishing trip and I'm really looking forward to getting back to fishing out in Pulley Ridge because we, it's been a while, Amanda. It's been like right? seven months. All right, so, so we go check out just, the, yeah. the food. Okay. Oh, for a walk. Let's go bear. There's the pony bear. This is some of our tackle. We haven't really officially formally set it up yet. And then we'll be fishing, slow pitch digging on the bow, maybe do some bottom fishing. Kona, don't eat the food. She was checking the food out. <laughs> and tonight's dinner, some pasta, meat sauce. And we got salad. a pasta bolognese with a side salad. So I'm gonna eat some dinner, go to bed. And then we'll see you guys at, I don't know, two or three in the morning? Something like that. It is officially time to start fishing. I got my slow pitch dig in the water. And fun fact, we got to sleep like, what a minute, an extra hour? We slept till 4.30. We slept till 4.30. So I think it's because it's rough though. So it took longer it took to get longer to the fishing to get to spot. The spot. So we didn't, normally we'll set an alarm and get up. And this time, we had alarm set for three, and at three, the boat was still running. I was like, you know what? Let's just go to bed. And when the boat stops, we'll start fishing. So here we are. First drop of the slow pitch jig. Let's see if we land anything. First, First fish. fish so of I was the using, trip. I never showed you guys. I was using like a pink wavy jig, and I really liked it. And I gave it three tries. And on the second try, I was like, I don't know, I feel like I should switch jigs, but I just really liked the way it looked. So. I did a third drift with it, and it didn't hook up. So then <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you did. Then I switched jigs to, I'll have to show you guys, but it's basically like a pencil jig, and it's bright yellow, and yellow is a good nighttime color, and I knew that going into the night. Anyways, I hooked up. I wasn't even like doing the act of slow pitch digging. I was just also, moving I have a question, did the current change? Up. Yeah, the current changed too. Wow, that was fast. Within like a one drift, the next direction. Um, I hooked up going around the pulpit up here, the anchor, oh my gosh. literally like, I wasn't even doing any type of, it was just like, oh, come on. Okay. okay. I'm Shoot. thinking mutton snapper. <gasps> Yay. 100%. Yay. Good. 100%. Good, good. Be. And I'm just going to go ahead and spit, guys, it is rough. Like when I say rough, whoa, there's Kona. We got lots of lights in our eyes. Let's turn back around. That was very bright. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> For the, the is lighting so issues. Rough. I'm like dying over here. <laughs> I know, it's, it's wobbly, especially it's up top. It's supposed to only be rough like this. Here we go, it's scoping up a little. Whoa. Oh, I see color. Ooh, ah, uh, uh, that looks, it's a mutton. It's a mutton. It's pink. Uh, it's your mutton. Okay, good. <laughs> Here, let me move out of your way. We have our first fish of our sixth time on the Yankee Caps, and it's a mutton snapper. I think we're off to a really good start because Great we started start. our trips with kingfish and kudas. Yeah, and, and the jacks. last time it was kingfish. A lot of times it's kingfish and kudas to start. And this time, Kona Bear. She's trying here. to eat somebody's breakfast She's trying pastry. to eat some breakfast. This time we got a mutton snapper. Yes. So I nice. love the 
colors of a mud snapper. Beautiful pet. It looks like a sunset. Look at the tail. It's like a sunset. It's like See how a it goes Key from West yellow sunset. to pink. And why don't we show, do you want to bring this fish back and then show everybody your yes, jig? Yes, but let me show you guys this. Yes. It went down a little bit, but if you look, the scales are kind of puffy. Can I you saw that. The scales? Yeah. You can that's the barrel trauma. So that's the pressure. Like kind of like when you're on the airplane, it's the opposite for these fish. So instead of going up into the sky, they're coming from the deep and they get their scales kind of inflate. But we kind of went down, down a little bit. They do like we're not fishing super super you deep. You can kind of see like some of the scales are like puffy and sticking out. All right, kind of underneath that fin. All right, so let's get a tag. I got my tag, number fifteen. Ready? Take it to the fish yeah, box. Yeah, let's walk it back. Hopefully, we're not too wobbly on this walk. We don't make you guys seasick because it is a quite the wobbly day. All right, so you want to just put your fish here. We're just gonna put our tag in it, like so. If you can see it right there. And then when the mates come around, they will staple the tag to the gill plate, the cheek of the fish, and put it on ice. This is the jig I was using. I said it was like a pencil shake. This shape, this is the Jig Pro Jig. Strike 240 grams. Let's go catch another one, Amanda. What just it's, happened? It's one of two things. It's either, do you hear that? Do you hear the reel? I can hear it. I don't know if they can hear it. It's one of two things. It's either a tuna, a cuda. Okay, I said three, or a shark. Okay, hold on. But let's talk about what actually just happened. You said, I oh, think we need oh, to switch it out. Happened. I said, um, I think I'm gonna go switch this jig out. And I said, Amanda, come, come. I said, Amanda, why don't you come? I don't, it's either a tuna or, I think, I it's, think a tuna. it's a tuna. Cause the, the runs aren't that long, like they're short. Okay, like, then you got to like, real fast cause you don't want to get sharked. But turns out it was definitely a shark. Well, it was definitely, we well, never saw it. It was definitely a shark because it took my jig. Took you my lost jig. your jig. But remember when I was saying that I was thinking about switching jigs because the current started to pick up. So I was like, well, I guess it's time to switch jigs. So it may look the exact same, but it's 100 grams heavier. So it's the Strike Jig Pro Yellow Jig. 340 grams instead of 240. We are on with the heavier strike jig. And <laughs> I got bit as soon as it hit bottom. I never even jigged it. So if, if it was as soon as you, and we're actually doubled hold up on, right now. On. Yeah. So I gotta walk back. We gotta yeah, we make gotta a move. Go there we go. So we're doubled up and they're crisscrossed. Thankfully, they are not hooked up to the same fish, but hooked up to different fish. No. <laughs> what? Oh, oh man. Oh, bummer. The sun is starting to rise. You will notice we have some daylight around us. The latest and greatest from Captain Greg is that the night bite has not been that great and the day bite's been better. But granted, we didn't really fish all night. Like we only fish started fishing right before sunrise. So, so far one fish right before sunrise, the sun is just now rising. Hopefully we can get one or two more before breakfast, but we, we will see. Amanda's on. I'm on. I'm on and I can hardly reel. I don't know. Emily, did we check the drag on this? Uh, the drag's pretty tight. That was because remember when I hooked up to the shark? I can hardly get anything I kind of cranked the drag up. Whew. Wait, so what'd you say? What do you mean what I say? The drag's pretty tight, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Amanda's first fish of the trip. So we both started jigging. Hey, Amanda, it's the jig we switched out to. Yeah. We made an educated decision, educated guess, and we switched to a pink jig because the daylight came up. And when you have to think, go pink. We've been thinking hard. Scoping out a lot. It is scoping out a lot. Here you go, you guys can see the line scoping out. We're running too. I got my mine out, but obviously I'm uh, have it on pause until Amanda gets hers to the to the boat. I had this weird sense that it could have been bottom for a sec. I don't know why. I it up now. Like I might be rolling in a rock. The timing of this is suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm gaining for sure. But it's not acting like a fish. Like there's no. Yeah, but look shakes. at how scoped out you are. I know. Oh yeah. Never. Oh, oh that's oh, it's why. It's a sand tile. <laughs> it's a and big it's one hooked. though. It is a big one. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> we got a big sand tile. That was why. I was like, I felt like I was really up a rock. Like, Kalina, over here. The first thing I need to ask before I show you our fish. Can you tell on camera how rough it is? The swells we're dealing with. I don't know. Let's look. Let's like, take a look. They're massive. Like, I basically, one thing that's true is that it always looks, see, look at, look at all that white behind Amanda. It always looks better on camera than it actually is as far as the swells go. All right, so be careful. Yep. See those, actually, um, those right gill there. plates are super sharp. Our sand tile. 
Amanda's on. I gotta reel up so I can get over there. That's my jig. I'm on. I got the bite right on the bottom. My left bicep is burning, so I'm hoping. Oh, he's here. That was fast. I got a grouper. You could act a little more excited. <gasps> I am excited. I got a grouper. I'll back well, up. I wasn't sure. Is he a swinger or a gaffer? <laughs> He's a gaffer. He's a gaffer. So he's big enough to gaff. No, I'm excited. Anything. I was just surprised he came up so fast, actually. And I thought he was bigger because he felt really heavy. Yay! Yes. We got a red grouper. I am actually very excited. I just was surprised. You were startled. Fast. I was like, whoa. Okay, man. Oh, I have a red grouper. And fun fact, I'm trying to get my D hook out of my bag right, right. now, but it's kind of stuck. My D hooker is right here. All right. So you're gonna have to are. excuse the wobbling. It's Battling so rough. Battling fish. How big would you say these seas are? Let's come oh, down and I mean, dehook this fish. Yeah. How big would you say these seas are? I mean, some of these seas are easily eight footers. Easily. And just so you guys know, we've been over taking the waves over the bow. Over the transom. transom. So like, let me turn around. You guys, they really don't look that bad. It's just the camera doesn't make them look as bad as they are. But I'm talking monster rollers over like, the transom. They're so bad that we're waiting for the 11 o'clock weather report to see what the weatherman says because Captain Greg says we gotta make a move. We it's might not have come to make down. a move and do something, I don't know. Well this trip could end early. It's that it's that nasty out here. Okay, so I got my red grouper. Pick it up. Pick up. Got my red grouper, aka fire truck. Beautiful catch. And actually, honestly, for groupers, this is the perfect size that I'd want to eat. I find that sometimes these red groupers will have parasites in them. You can cut them out, you can cook them. Greg says they're extra protein. I prefer to just cut them out and not cook them. <laughs> oh my, oh See? my. No Sorry. We're, We're going down. Kona already fell off the bench at one point. Kona fell off the bench. <laughs> We're doing okay. Nice red grouper, perfect size. Dunny. Fire truck. So we've got a grouper, a mutton, sand tile, battling rough seas. <laughs> Clearly. I'm so sorry. And I really hope that you guys can tell how rough it is. Walking my fish back to the box before we make a move to a new location. Yeah, guys. We are told right on cue. We have to stay seated in the on our way to the new run, to the new spot, because of how rough it is. So I gotta get this guy to the box quick and we gotta take a seat. We're gonna have to move up wind here. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable, so find a seat and stay put. That's probably the best thing for you to do. Fish on on the 400 gram jig remember amanda when i told you that we needed to go 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 heavier yeah and you were like nah I'm not so tell go me what, what what did you do to go heavier so the last jigs were 340 grams and they were scoping out i was like i'm gonna increase this so i went to 400 grams and i wanted to get another skinny jig like the pencil shaped jigs and i couldn't find one and this one has like wings on the side i'll show you when it comes up so i was like i don't know because I was like, maybe it'll fall slower, but it's still heavier. So I feel like it'll just even itself out. But no, when I dropped it, it actually definitely was more up and down. I feel like it fell nice and fast. So are you thinking it's I'm another surprised. grouper? This is definitely like a mutton or a grouper or some type of bottom fish. Staying straight up and down, not running, not scoping out. Is it starting to fight or is it starting to float? It's just, I'm just getting tired. You're just getting tired? <laughs> yeah. We're at color. Color. All right. Look at the shine in the water. It, oh my gosh. No. <laughs> it's a sand tile. I'm telling you, those guys fight like dead weight. Maybe yeah. we should weigh it and see if it's bigger or we'll smaller see. than mine. All right, let's go. Let's see it. Hold it up. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and we have a gut hooked sand, sand tile, tile fish. fish. So he's de-hooked. He's definitely smaller than yours, Whoa. Amanda. Sorry, guys. It's a big wave. Hold on. Really? It's just going under us now. Look at that. Ooh. So it's at zero. Okay. So everybody believes me. Wait. Yep, we see okay. it. We hope you guys don't get anything from this. <laughs> I can hardly stand and hold the camera at the same time. Wait, how Wait, much is mine yours? Yours was 1.64. Something like that. I think we're identical twins. Wait, no, it's 1.70. Oh, what? Yeah, you win. It said 1.64 for a split second, so I was like, wow, what are the odds? And he even probably lost some insides on the way up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go put him on the ice for anyone else who wants him. Remember how I was telling you the jig was a different shape? So you guys can see it has like kind of wings on it, but it's 400 grams, so it is a heavier jig. So obviously, I mean, I did catch a fish, and I feel like a fish is a fish, even though it was only a sand tile. 
But if anybody is curious, every fish we have been catching has been on the gale force. Do it all, sorry. Don't do it all, Amanda. <laughs> slow pitch. Slow pitch rod. This is a slow pitch rod. And it's gale force, spiral raft rod. Yep, so we did spiral raft guides. So if so, you look, the first guide faces up and then they spiral to face down. So it starts facing off like a conventional, but then they spiral to face down like a spinning rod. And that's gonna really help a lot with tip wrap when right. you're slow pitch jigging. So if you get line on the, t on the tip of your rod because of the spiral wrapped rods, it'll just slide right off. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just about to reel up. <laughs> Please tell me you're thinking it's anything but a sand tile. Uh, I really hope so. It feels bigger, for sure. So Definitely feels it's bigger. either the biggest sand tile of the day, or it's finally a nice mutton snapper, or maybe a grouper. <laughs> I mean, how is it fighting compared it's to the last? I mean, it looks I mean, like you're trying harder. It's just like so. There's our know, line going out. Small pumps. I feel like I should get around this gaff. Yeah, they, let's come around. I it. just don't. It's scary. There you go. <laughs> Movements like that is when you lose a fish. Oh yeah, the handoffs. Like when people hand off rods and people take turns reeling them in, you're more likely to lose it that way. People don't realize that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta always stay tight on it. And Emily, yeah. so what size jig are you using? How many grams? 400 grams. Okay. So it's a hefty jig. And we're using our 20 to 40, 20 to 40 pound, pound slow pitch, pitch rod. rod. What so, I like about this rod is that I've used 100 gram jigs all the way up to 440 grams. I feel like it's a really good like sweet spot. So and you've you, obviously caught fish way bigger than 40 pounds on it. 100%. Well, I mean, well, I don't know about way bigger, but you could if you had to. way bigger, but I mean, we've definitely caught some big, like, you know, big tunas. Groupers, amber jacks, tunas. Amber jacks, Elmaco jacks. Some nice fish. I don't know, I feel like this fish is coming up easy. I'm a little nervous. No. No? Is this is a sand tile, like. It's a feisty sand tile yeah. then. Let's take a bet. Okay, okay, if it's a sand tile. You win? I win, oh, sure. Is that what you want? You think it's a sand tile? I'm, I'm, I think it's a mutton snapper. Okay, if it's a mutton. <gasps> Are you kidding? You lost Are it? Are you kidding? No. Like right, right there. Right there. Right there. Keep an well, eye out. But then if it, it were a mutton, floating. it would probably be floating. Hold on. That is such a bummer. I'm on. I literally just looked at Amanda and said, why don't you go ahead and drop your jig? As I'm thinking, it's time to reel mine up. He's that almost exact same spot I hooked up last time. So I really hope I don't lose him. This, this one's definitely not a sand tile. No. I mean, it's pulling drag it's taking everything. Drag. All right, so let's check out that drag. Is it pulling drag right now? <laughs> Let's see the drag. It's just pulling drag. It's just pulling yeah. drag. So we're taking drag. Definitely fighting down. So I'm thinking oh, definitely no. group or mutton. It came off. You're came kidding. Off. No. What? I think I need to like check these hooks out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so terrified. I'm so terrified. <laughs> I really Is it gone already? No, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Hurry, right, don't suck. Just real. Just real. Oh, we're at color. We're at color. We see color. We okay. see color. We see color. I, I said it. I wasn't going to pull the... All right. You know what? You know what? <laughs> it's better it is what it is. I think everybody can take a wild guess. It's a sand tile. <laughs> Should we weigh this one just for kicks and giggles? Yeah, we might as well. All right, let's Thank see. Thank you. <laughs> Any guesses? Are you ready? I'm ready. What's your guess, Amanda? My guess is, what was mine? One point... It's 1.64. And yours was 1.7? Yeah. 1.53. 1.46. Hey! Smallest least... one, but we finally got something after, what, going 0 for 2 just now? We got it. I don't care. It's a sand tile. We got another fish. I think it is time for some lunch. I'm starving. And we also need to check in with Captain Greg because this weather is something else. And if it doesn't lay down, we're probably going to have to make a move and probably go fish somewhere else. We're out 100 miles in the Gulf of Mexico, so there is no protection anywhere. So Captain Greg was saying, if it doesn't come down, we should probably run to the Dry Tortugas and fish somewhere, hopefully a little more protected, but we will see. So stay tuned for the next episode. In the meantime, we're gonna go get lunch. I hope you get out there, have fun, and stay safe.